Do I need a tracking plan? No, of course you don't need one, but maybe sometimes it can be helpful. Let's have a look when a tracking plan makes sense and when you don't really have to take the time for it. What is a tracking plan? Some people call it a tracking plan, other people call it a measurement plan, and I call it an event data design. And the design is central for me here, because you plan what kind of events you want to track. Sounds simple, yeah, but the devil, as always, is in the details. These events that you track, you want to use to create really insightful analysis or you want to automate some things or you really want to provide the best support for business teams as possible you have this huge gap between what you track on the one side and what kind of insights you want to generate and sometimes this gap can be really problematic so a good event data design or a tracking plan makes sure that you track the right things in the right shape so that in the end like creating insights or create also like dashboards becomes pretty easy. Let's have a look into the situations where a tracking plan totally makes sense. So one situation, you are a product organization that constantly improves their product based on data input. And here are two important things. First is constantly. This means you don't release changes to your product just two or three times a year. If you do like this, then any kind of data doesn't really help you because data speeds up the iteration and you don't really iterate. Maybe you do in the future. The other thing is like with event data. So you can also run uh, product development without any kind of event data. It's totally possible. If you don't use any kind of event data and you don't plan to do, you don't need a tracking plan, obviously. And some vanity metrics that you then collect still don't really matter. Second scenario, you use behavioral or event data to support growth and sales initiatives. Growth, in the end, makes sure that the clients that you acquire at some point are basically become the most loyal and successful customers. They build heavily on event data because like, they run a lot of initiatives where they need to understand where people get stuck. And then they can create segmentations based on that and then write specific kind of communication. For them, event data is totally core. And if you have such kind of team, then of course a tracking plan totally makes sense because they need reliability of the data that you generate. Another use case could be like that you support your sales team with account information, how active specific kind of accounts are. Sales teams will then look before they have their calls with their customers into this kind of data. And then they can help these accounts much better to get more out of the product than before. If they use such kind of thing, of course you need event data. And in that case, you need a tracking plan. In which cases you don't need a tracking plan. Okay, so here are the situations where you definitely don't need a tracking plan. First of all, your data setup is basically just some dashboards. Three, four dashboards that sometimes some people look on it and you just check, okay, how many sessions do we got? How many pages did they visit? Maybe how many signups do we have? And so on. A very bare minimum kind of data setup. In that case, you don't need a tracking plan because right now you don't go beyond. If you do, might be right now you don't need it. The other case of that is you're just interested in page views. Page views are already a pretty good tracking plan because if you have a good URL structure, then you can derive a lot of insights just from the pages that you track and from the page URLs. Then you don't need a tracking plan. And as said before, if you iterate on your product, not constantly, so you have two or three releases a year, or, for example, event data doesn't really matter in your product iterations because like you use a lot of interviews, you have other ways to validate how to improve your product. Then there's no need for event data and there's no need for a tracking plan. So let's quickly recap. When do you need a tracking plan? A tracking plan is super helpful to make sure that in the end you can generate the insights that the business really needs to make better product decisions, create better growth uh, initiatives, or to support sales to close more deals. When this is missing, you don't need a tracking plan. If you support this, so if your product team is really constantly iterating and is using data to do this, to make this kind of decision, then a tracking plan is a huge help to provide standardized, high quality, high available, and 
best fitted data so that they can easily see if new features really make a difference. If all of this doesn't really happen in your company, don't care about the tracking plan. Don't do vanity documentation of any kind of tracking plans when it doesn't really move the needle. So I hope this helps and uh, see you in the next Do I Need video.